What's going on, players and pimps, hoes and simps? What's popping? It's your boy Zay DBE back with another fucking reaction video. You already know what time it is. Oh, let's get the background. Yeah. Let's see what this boy is talking about. All of my ladies in the dating pool, let me show you how to redirect your way out of a low budget experience. Okay, this is a potential suitor. He has no number saved because period. Y'all already know how I roll. Good morning. It was great. Oh, oh god damn. How to catch a beta male one on one. She teaching the, the sauce, the, the real shit. You know what I'm saying? So she already came out the gate saying, I'm going to teach you how to not have a low budget experience. So we already know what the fuck that mean. That mean that she go on dates right not because she want to get the motherfucker. she go on dates to get an old motherfucker wallet she go on dates to get a motherfucker's wallet so Anytime when it comes to women, you know, talking about the low budget or, you know, not going on a coffee date or some shit like that, you, this is what we call a pro fucking dater. She's a, a, a person who goes on a date, goes on dates to check a man's wallet or just to, just to have a free, nice, expensive fucking meal. Play, man. man, play the goddamn effect, man. If I'm pushing the button, play the goddamn effect, man. Shit. Stupid ass shit. Let's keep going. Speaking with you last night, I woke up so refreshed. I would love to take you to coffee this week. Does Wednesday work? Okay. You cannot take me to coffee or tea on the first date. It's not equitable for me. I don't drink coffee and my perfume costs too much. So don't play. See, this bitch with all, I already, I already don't like this bitch. And I don't, I don't even know her. I already don't fucking like her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate entitlement attitudes on women. Like, I hate this shit. This is why this is this woman is, is, is all this masculine. Like, she just has all this masculine energy. Oh, I'm a period. And it's that. And then I'm going to. Like. Like, why she got to do all of this shit? Like, who wants to deal with this shit? How can somebody even deal with this shit? Just the fact that she even talking like this and she doing all of this, I can already tell that she's a fucking headache. You know what I'm saying? She already with this entitlement shit. She already talking about nigga Wallace. She already saying how, like, and this is what you niggas be going for. So as you guys watch this shit, just know when you see how he texting her, when you see a girl start texting you like this, this is what you about to go on a fucking date with. Yeah. All right, so I hail from corporate America. We're going to use the sandwich effect here. Six years in the C-suite. We about to use this. Okay, boom. So I say. Corporate America. You heard what she just fucking said. She's been probably in sales and all this shit. You would just hear the deepness in her voice. Like she really on that, 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 that alpha, alpha female bullshit. You already tell. I already know. I'm already know. I know what she is. I know what type she is. Oh. Hey, good morning. It was great speaking with you also. It's actually restaurant week coming up. Here's the link. Let me know which one you decide. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to start off with something good, okay? It was great speaking with you also. I'm not even addressing the coffee, baby. We're going to redirect you in the middle that I'm going to end with something great saying, I'm looking forward to seeing you. We're also putting the ball back in his court because he's a grown-ass man, okay? You need to make the decision. So he goes, I just looked over the options. Let's do Italian. Perfect. So he goes Wednesday at 7 p.m. And he submitted like a little bitch. He submitted. He said he wanted to go fucking on coffee, right? She said she ain't even fucking addressed. Oh, we like, I want to go to a fucking restaurant. Take me here. This got good shit. And his pussy ass gonna say, oh, look, they, they got some nice Italian, nice Italian food. It's like you niggas be. They, they got some, some uh, nice Italian food. And, uh, even though this girl, she got the fat ass. And I just want to hit that bad. So I'm just going to let her, let her take the lead. Already, you off the bat, just, she already don't have no respect for you. Just the fact that she already, like, like how the fuck are you giving girls the world, giving girls, like, spending all your money on a bitch? No, 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 let me say it, because oh, some guys going to be like, oh, it ain't tricking if you got it. If you said coffee, right, it would have been one thing, right, if you said, uh, 
you know what I'm saying? Let's go here. Like, you, you already did a dinner date, which you, like I say, you still shouldn't even be doing this. You don't even know this fucking broad. You don't even know that this right here, this right here, this lady is behind the phone and that's who's talking to you. You don't even know her yet. Like, think about if you if you, if, if you were uh, in this guy's shoes and you saw this damn video, right, of her talking about your ass and you about to go spend some goddamn money on her. How would you feel? Like a fucking loser. Like an idiot. So, um, you're spending money, like, spending money on girl, like, you want to keep your investment low. Men, we fall in love through investment. That's what I'm always, I'm always preach this shit. Men fall in love through investment. Human beings, period, but men, we fall in love through investment. So when you spending a lot of money on girls and you're doing all of this, doing all of that, and you, you know what I'm saying? Because this is, she's the type, she, she, not, she understands this. This is actually game for women. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I had a daughter, I wouldn't be telling her to go on a fucking coffee date with no nigga, with no fucking guy. I would never tell her to go on a fucking coffee date with no guy. I would tell her his ass invest. Why? Because men fall in love with their investments. For us, because I'm a dating coach and I have men's best interests at heart, I'm going to tell you, you want to keep your fucking investment low. Nothing more than 20 maybe $30. That's your, shit, $20. That's your budget. You get what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, you don't even know her. You don't know her to just be just going out and just spending money, whether you got it or not. You don't fucking know her. Don't just be just spinning shit. Unless, uh, okay, let me let me say this. Let me let me make this clear. Unless that's something that you regularly do, right? Like you regularly just go out and you go to an Italian restaurant or you go to expensive restaurants. And that's just regularly something that you just do without having anybody with you. And then you just want her to tag along and just come with you because that's just something that you already do. Fine. But if that's not something that you do and you want to go get some motherfucking coffee and she's not following your league and she's talking about some goddamn let's go here. She's not interested in you. She's interested in your pocket and she's interested in probably just getting a free meal. Leave this woman. Do not ever communicate. Do not ever try to negotiate. You, you can't negotiate with these types of women. She already showed you her hand and what she fuck she what the fuck she's looking for. Because she don't want she think her time is is her is worth. A lot of damn money. Basically, what she's saying is, nigga, you not you not all of that. You're not all of that, right? So you're gonna need to come out your pocket a little bit more to get me to come out because you not all that for me to just be fucking with you like that to go get some damn coffee. You're always saying my perfume costs too damn much to go get coffee. Like we not doing low budget shit. Stay the fuck away from these shits, man. Yeah, my mic works for me. I'm in Alexandria and I'm not far. If you could pick me up or send me an Uber, that would be awesome because why would you want me working on cobblestone? Why would you want me looking for parking? Sounds laborious to me. Uh-uh. He goes, no problem. I'll send an Uber around 615. <laughs> Baby is a new man. He is a new man. And I go, wonderful. Thank you. Ask for what you want. Be polite in your ass. Be a little bit difficult and always say please and thank you. There you go. Y'all niggas, this is, this is what y'all niggas be going through right here. This, 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 this is the type of women that y'all be going for. Look how confident she sounded that shit. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe y'all niggas be liking this type of shit, man. But um, so first she got this nigga like like she just like I said, how to catch a bit of a one-on-one. -on -one. Cause if it was me, it wouldn't even got that fucking far. The moment she sent that text, I wouldn't even fucking respond it. I wouldn't even fucking respond it. You feel me? You know why? Because I already know what type she was just, just from doing that. She already let me know that, okay, it's not even, and even, even if she don't get coffee, she ain't gonna get no fucking coffee. Even more this coffee spot, she get a fucking donut, fucking tea or some shit. Why are we going, why, like, why are we making the date about the place that we're going? You know what I usually say to girls? This is something, I'm gonna give y'all some game, some real game. Like when a girl does some shit like that, this, this is the only thing that I get y'all of this. When a girl does some shit like that and they keep complaining about the place or the, you know, I always end up saying, yo, is it more about us getting to know each other or is it about the date? And they might hear me with both. Oh, so, so, but why is it about the date if we're just like, if we, if me and you don't know each other, right? And we're just getting to know each other, why am I about to come out my pocket and spend a bunch of money on you like that? You know what I'm saying? 
is it about getting to know each other or is it about the date? Because it can't it can't be about both. It's not it's never about both. Never oh, it's about the date and like no, it's not. Because why is it about the date? Why I mean, why is it about the spot that we're going to on a date? Why would it be about that? It will only be about that if she's trying to she trying she has to alter your motives. So only reason it will be about that. Because if it ain't about us getting to know each other, having fun, enjoying each other's company, then what the fuck is we going on a fucking date for? What makes you think that your time is much more valuable than my fucking my time? What makes you think that your time is is expensive? What are you bringing to me to make you to, to like? What are you about to do to change help change my fucking life? Because I'm not I'm not. Because think about it. I'm glad I just said that. Because think about it. She's coming to you, bro. Um, she, when, if you ever get in a relationship with her, she ain't gonna be, she ain't gonna be wanting to pay no damn bills. She probably gonna want to stay at home. And even, like, even, and even if she do want to go out and work, she still ain't gonna want to pay no motherfucking bills. She gonna want you to take care of her. She gonna want you to be emotionally supportive for her. She gonna be want you to be there physically for her. She gonna want you to throw it down in the bedroom. And she got you. And then I got, I gotta pay. I gotta, I gotta pay for a fucking expensive date to take care of you. Get the fuck out of here, man. You got me fucked up. This shit got me riled up, Loki. I ain't even gonna stunt. But I don't even know why, because I'm not one of them beta male pussy motherfuckers that'll just be uh 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 letting a bitch lead the interaction. The moment that I see a girl is not leading I me, mean, uh, uh, not not following me, not taking direction, not not being cooperative, like she ain't even gotta be submissive yet. You know what I'm saying? Because is one like a, a girl's not gonna be submissive in the beginning, but at least being cooperative. The moment I sit down, I'm done. Why the fuck? You, and you heard what else she said? Be a little difficult. Be a little difficult. Not with me, baby. That's why I said how to catch a beta male one on one. Cause ain't no ain't no mask. Ain't no real nigga going for no shit like that. Nigga who got bitches? Nigga who got options? A nigga who, who who has a life, got purpose, he not going for no shit like that. Only a dude who don't get it like that, who ain't got no options, who fucking ain't got a purpose in life, who put the put who put the pussy on the pedestal, he gonna go for some shit like that. And by default, women just for some reason, for some crazy ass reason, they don't like those types of guys. Women never like the guys that they put through the ringer. They never like them. They always end up not liking them, or they and even if they do, they make them maybe like them just enough. He's like, okay, you know, he got money in this, he look good, but I just some sunbothers don't like him. But you know, hey, I'm gonna just take what I can get. I'm gonna take this to the bank. That's how bitch. That's how women are sometimes. You get what I'm saying? You never want to be that guy. You never want to be that guy. The moment that a girl. Does this? You are done texting her. You're done. There is no 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 go no negotiate with her. Don't try to what's the name? I mean, you could say that little one line. Yo, is it about like no? Nah, let's get some coffee. And she be like, uh, no, I'm not. I don't like coffee. Like, let's let's go to this restaurant or some shit like that. Like, nah, like no. Like, look, is it about is the date about us getting to know each other, or is it about uh uh the the damn date, the places that we going? Like, which one is it? You feel me? And then usually, usually most of the ones that don't fuck with you like that, they show their hand. I'm not going on no coffee date. Like, like well, you know, they, they'll say some some slick, some, some 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 shit, like some arrogant ass shit. I'm not going on no no cheap ass coffee date just to get to know somebody. Like, they'll say some stupid shit. I'm telling you. Get them to show their hand right away. You'll be glad you ain't fucking going on that date with that damn girl. But, uh, fellas, I hope you got some great game from this, uh, before we keep going, I have to tell you about this attraction course that literally would change your life. I know you're probably looking at this in like attraction course. All I need is money, look, status, and just to dress nice and go to the gym. But this belief right here has cost a lot of men thousands of dollars and wasted time dealing with attention whores, gold diggers, manip manipulative women. 
paying me for coaching, paying me thousand dollars to coach. Yes, well, you could have just learned this in one day, just dropped a little bit of money and learned this in one day. Most of my clients are guys with money, looks, and status, and they still have problems with women. And no, I'm not gonna change you guys and try to change you and be something, make you be something that you're not. All the things that I'm gonna be teaching you is something that you already have locked inside of you. See, the stuff that I'm gonna be teaching you is mad, profound, deep, groundbreaking game. It's gonna be stuff that you've never heard before. You will never be worried about attraction ever again and you will never have to ask me for help or any other day and coach for help and if you think i'm capping just look at my testimonials at the end and click the link in the description below